Hello there. Welcome to Light Embassy, taking His glory to the ends of the world. Today's devotional is captioned, God didn't cause it. God didn't cause it. And our team scripture is taken from Ecclesiastes chapter 7 verse 29. I'm reading from the KJV. The words of the preacher. The Bible says, Lo, this only have I found that God had made man upright, but they have sought out many inventions. This only have I found, said the preacher, that God had made man upright, but they have sought out many inventions. Solomon, the great king, was given a quantum of wisdom. Why? Because wisdom is a dimension. And Solomon, the great king, was given a quantum of it. You see, talking about Jesus, Luke said, the child grew in wisdom. You can grow in wisdom. You see. But Solomon was given a quantum of wisdom by the spirit of wisdom. And this made him the wisest man in his days. Yet there were things Solomon didn't understand. You know, there are those who think Solomon understood everything. No, no. There are things that Solomon didn't understand. There are those who read the words of Solomon as if he, Solomon, understood everything. But the truth really is that Solomon didn't understand everything because his wisdom, even though great, was still limited. He had a quantum of wisdom. He didn't have all wisdom. He had a quantum of wisdom. No wonder Jesus said concerning himself he told the jews the queen of the south shall rise up in the in judgment with this generation and shall condemn it for she came from the uttermost part of the earth she came from africa to hear the wisdom of solomon and behold a greater than solomon is here I like that. Jesus referred himself as a greater than Solomon. He says, a greater than Solomon is here. He says, lo, see, a greater than Solomon is here. Yes, a greater than Solomon is here. Jesus was saying, you have recited poetry, eulogies, and made rhetorics about Solomon's wisdom. But the one who is greater in wisdom than Solomon is here. And that's my Jesus. He is greatest in wisdom because he, Jesus, is wisdom incarnate. It is the lack of this wisdom and understanding that some preachers wrongly teach about Christian prosperity. Many times when I observe the teachings about prosperity, of prosperity, Christian prosperity, in certain circles of the church, I then get where these preachers have gotten it all wrong. You see, they quote certain scriptures, especially from Proverbs, the sayings of wisdom on money, and they don't get it in, in right perspective. You see, they think that Solomon understood everything. No, Solomon didn't understand everything. They take the wise sayings of Solomon concerning money to delude themselves. They don't put it in the right perspective. So you align all wisdom to Jesus. When you read your Bible, anything that anyone has said, whether Solomon, David, anything that any person has said, you have to align it with Jesus. Why? Because Jesus is the ultimate source of wisdom. He is wisdom incarnate. Therefore, every wisdom should find its foundation in Jesus. And that is why Paul the Apostle said in Colossians, says in Christ dwelleth all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. I like that. Jesus is wisdom. So by such folks, they don't put it in the right perspective. Until a man align all wisdom to Jesus, he will make mistakes even with scriptures. Solomon had immense wisdom. There were things he could understand, but there were others that even though he searched them out, he just couldn't understand. 
There were things that he couldn't understand with the stretch of his imagination. But there were others and other wonderful things that he, Solomon, could understand based on the wisdom that God has given him. Now, this is to show you and I that it is not about man, but the God who gives. You can only have what he gives you. Because you are a creature, therefore you can only have what the creator gives you. And this is why I tell Christians, I advise Christians, and admonish them that they should desist from pride. You see, as a Christian, you don't have to be proud because you're a creature. Because, you see, when you have anything and you think yourself to be something, till so you meet another person, you never know that what you had was nothing. And that is why you have to humble yourself. All of us, we have to humble ourselves because it is dependent on the Creator. The Creator. He chooses what to give to each and every person. Solomon said, when you read Ecclesiastes chapter 7 from verse 23 to 24, since all this have I proved by wisdom, so I said, I will be wise, you see, but it was far from me. That which is far off and exceeding deep, who can find it out? So even though Solomon was so wise, the Bible says that Solomon was wiser than all the men of the East. Even though Solomon was this wise, Solomon said there were certain things which were exceedingly deep for his wisdom to search out. He says it was far from him. He says who can find those things out? But it didn't mean that those things were not there. It didn't mean that there wasn't an explanation for those things. You see, so when you are reading Solomon's sayings and he makes certain statements that he didn't understand, don't take it as it is true. He didn't understand them. See, for instance, let me give you a certain common statement. And this statement, when I was growing up, it was common with the old. With the old, you see. Many people of this world make statement like, good people don't live long. And, and they, get, they got it from Solomon, because Solomon actually said that. Solomon said, I've, the things I have observed under heaven. Solomon said, I see the righteous dying his righteousness, but the wicked prolonging his life by his wickedness. That's where they got it from. That's where they got it from. So they made that statement. And so, but Solomon said, this is far from me. He didn't understand it, why it was so. He was just giving an account of what he was observing. He didn't know the reason for that. So you don't just take it and make statement, like some preachers make statement of it, oh, good men don't last long. No. You have to understand why it was so. The question is, is this supposed to be so? But when you study the word of God from the eyes of wisdom, the eyes of the Christ, you know that it is not supposed to be so. You see, so sometimes this is why they get certain things wrong. Because they don't know that wisdom, the ultimate source of wisdom is Jesus. Christ is wisdom. The Bible says that Christ has made unto you wisdom. Yes, wisdom is Christ. That is why the Lord said, a greater than Solomon. Is he in his indeed? Indeed, he is a greater than Solomon because he is greatest in wisdom. So Solomon said there were certain things which were deep for him to say them out. Yes, there were certain things too deep for Solomon to understand, even though he observed those happenings among men. Irrespective of this limitation of Solomon, there was one thing he fully understood by his wisdom. And that was, Lo, this only have I found, says Solomon, that God had made man upright, but they have sought out many inventions. So Solomon understood this one. He understood that God has made everything right, orderly, perfect. Like Moses said, all his works, he's my rock, all his works are perfect. You see, all his works are perfect. The Bible says the word of the Lord is pure, the word of the Lord is right. All his works are perfect and righteous. Solomon understood this wisdom. As for this wisdom, he understood 
that God made all things good and perfect. And but all the evils and problems of the world has been man's own doing. The Bible said, as Paul reiterated in the book of Romans, he says, by one man's sin, death entered into this world. Not by God, by the sin of Adam. He says, death entered into this world. So God made all things right and perfect. But men brought evil to themselves. Therefore, you who preach everything as being the will of God, be careful. Be careful what you say about the Most High. Remember the friends of Job. When they said things which were too high for them to understand, and they said certain things about God, God was angry with them. Be careful what you say about God. Be careful what you associate with God. If you don't know, you better keep quiet. If you don't understand, you better keep quiet. Don't associate that which is bad and evil with he who is most high, he who is most holy. When he is called, God is called the most high. Do you understand what that means? That statement, the most high. Many don't understand what it means. That is why they go on saying those things about him. But he is the most high. He is the most high. Not only that, he is the most holy. If you like Solomon, don't understand the reason behind certain things. You better keep quiet. For God didn't cause it. He doeth. He doesn't do evil. Don't associate God with evil. Like Elihu said, says, how can he who is most righteous pervert judgment? That's what he said to Job. Says Job, says Job has increased his foolishness by the words that he has uttered. That is what Elihu said to Job. Says Job, you clap your hands among wicked men. Oh, God bless you.